Let's now move to Kilifi County, where a 63-year-old Kilifi man from Matulani village in Viragoni sub location is likely to be alive after he was attacked by assailants known to him about a week ago. Kazungu Kanubi was admitted in critical condition at the Coast General Teaching and Referral Hospital following the October 23 attack. According to the area village elder Karisa Katana, the attack was based on witchcraft allegations and a land dispute to which Kanubi is a key witness. The elder has since questioned why the police have released the culprits who have continued to intimidate the villagers. Grey-haired elders in parts of Kilifi and Kwale counties have over the years been living in fear due to the continued killings by locals who associate them with witchcraft. Kazungu Kanubi, who hails from Atulani village in Viragoni sub-location, is the latest victim to fall prey to the assailants after he was attacked and critically injured. Unfortunately, the attack which was by perpetrators known to him led to his hospitalization at the Coast General Teaching and Referral Hospital since 23rd October 2022. Wale ambao walimfata kanubi walikuwa wakijulikana kwa sababu walimuambia kanubi moja kwa moja kwamba wanasema kanubi anawambia wanamuambia ni mchawi. Na hao kanubi alikuwa hajasema. Na mimi pitia kwa mzee wa mtaa hao alikuja kwangu. Na wakaja wakaniambia ni kamuambia mungo jeni mzee kanubi mwenyewe mumuone basi ya muambia njini wachawi, ndio kama ni kuchukua hatuwa mfanya nini? Mchukue. Siku hiyo tare 23, mzee hakaenda kukatwa mapanga, mpaka akawa ni mahututi. Siku hile ya kesi, alikuwa wodi, makadara, siptali. Hiyo kesi ilianza kesi ya mashamba. Alafu ikatoka kesi ya mashamba ikaingia kesi ya uchawi. Village elder Karisa Katana explained that it was not the first time Kanubi was attacked, but that he had just recently narrowly escaped the attack after his elder's wife cried for help and alerted the neighbors, scaring away the attackers. Although the matter was reported at the Bamba police station and the perpetrators arrested, they were released on cash bail. Later, the culprit were rearrested and arraigned in a cliffy court after they persisted with threatening the man. Tarehe tano mwezi wa saba kuna mzee kanubi popo alifatwa nyumbani kwake na majambazi wakawa wanataka kumkata lakini bahati nzuri akatoka bibi yake mkubwa wale majambazi walipompata bibi yake mkubwa na piga nduru wakakimbia tarehe sita mwezi wa tano wa saba akaenda station polisi bamba akaenda kuripoti kisa hicho na wale majambazi wakachukuliwa hatua wakashikwa na wakapelekwa bamba station police alafu wakatolewa cash bill wakatoka Katana while calling for speed investigation and the matter has questioned why police have released the culprit to roam around freely and yet they continue to threaten the residents both the national and the county government have a waiver scaled up with efforts in ensuring that the elders are protected with Kaya elders from coast region coming out strongly to condemn the killings. Mara nyingi, serekali nasema ukipata habari, lete. Na ukipeleka, kama ni uhalifu watu wanashikwa, alafu wanachiliwa, alafu wananza kukuandama we mzewa mtaa, hata mimi pia saii, sina usalama. Dolly Mirigimbuvi for Hope TV.